acceleration. is the change in velocity over time, but now we have to describe this as a vector. And in the differential sense, again, this becomes dv dt. So a, the acceleration, has components just like positions and velocities have components. ax, the x component of this acceleration vector, will be the time derivative of the x component of velocity or the second time derivative of x where x is a function of time. a y will equal dv y dt or the second derivative. So these, in general, are functions of time as well, depending on how complex the functions x and y are. So in our previous example, we could try to evaluate what's the acceleration at time t equals 2 seconds. Well, let's remember that Vx was 4t cubed minus 3. And that means that Ax, which will be the time derivative of this, will be 12t squared minus 0. And Vy, we found, was 2t. And therefore, Ay had a value of 2. It's a constant. So the vector A at time 2 is 2 seconds. It's 48 meters per second squared octet plus 2 meters per second squared y hat. I'm having to think back now and make sure I have all my units right. But this coefficient out here had units of meters to the second divided by seconds to the fourth. I'm multiplying by a second squared, and so I have meters divided by second squared. And this coefficient came from my velocity. Um, this was originally in meters per second squared, and so it's retained that that unit. So I. I temporarily dropped those, but I had to go back and reconstruct to make sure that I have the right units for acceleration, because our problem is wrong if we drop something and 